there. My name is Andalee, and today we're going to be working on a snake arm tutorial. So the snake arm is one of those slinky upper body arm movements that resembles a snake writhing around. Now this movement is a basic movement, but it can be pretty tricky. So I'm going to break it down for you, starting with the shoulders. So you want to roll the shoulders from the front up and then to the back and down. It's a small roll, so don't worry about getting it up to your ears or anything like that. You just want to roll a little bit forward in the shoulder, up and back. So let's get that back and forth, right and left, rolling the shoulders. Some people do a snake arm without incorporating a shoulder roll, and that is perfectly fine. This is the way I prefer to do them. So in the second part of the snake arm, what we need to do is rotate in the shoulder to lift the elbow up to the back. So you just rotate. You're definitely going to feel some burning in the shoulder and in the triceps. Rotate. Try it on the left as well. Now notice my hand isn't turning over when my shoulder rotates in the joint. I want to keep my palms facing the ground so that I've got my shoulder, lift the elbow, and then the third part is lifting the wrist, setting it down, and all of that happens with my palm facing down. Let's try it on the left. You wanna roll the shoulder, lift the elbow by rotating, lift the wrist, set it down. Shoulder, elbow, wrist, fingers. Shoulder, elbow, wrist, fingers. So remember when I say elbow, that means we're rotating the elbow up from the back and up to the point the elbow towards the ceiling. So it rotates in there. So let's try. We've got a shoulder roll, elbow, wrist, fingers. Shoulder roll, elbow, wrist, fingers. And it goes back and forth right and left. You want to get one started while the other one's ending so it's not just one arm then the other arm. We start one side and then as we're finishing it we begin the other side. So this is the way I do a snake arm. I hope you found it helpful. I'll see you in class.